They can be larger than your foot. They are carnivorous and they prey in the dark, damp places. They'll use their venomous pincers to bite you. And as the venom enters your bloodstream, you'll feel excruciating pain. Would you survive this elongated monster's attack? Here's how to survive a giant centipede bite. Giant centipedes live in tropical and subtropical areas. The largest in the world can be found in South America, can grow up to 30 centimeters or even more, and can eat mice and lizards 15 times their size. Giant centipedes are aggressive creatures. They aren't afraid of a fight. And if they can fight with deadly rattlesnakes, kill them and eat them, imagine what they can do to you. Why shouldn't you take off your shoes? How could hot water save your life? And how fast could their venom kill you? Step one, grab something hot. If a giant centipede bites you, immediately apply heat or hot water to the wound. This will help to dilute the venom, but you'll need to act fast as some centipedes can kill prey 15 times their size in 30 seconds flat. A toxin in the venom closes channels that pump potassium in and out of cells, which is critical to have a regular heartbeat. The venom can also attack your cardiovascular, respiratory, and nervous systems. All we have to do is give us something to chew. Step two, beware of their speed. If you see a giant centipede crawling on the floor, don't come near it. They are surprisingly fast creatures with long legs and many of them. Centipede means 100 feet in Latin, but don't be fooled by the name. Depending on the species, these arthropods can have up to 191 pairs of legs. So when those 382 long legs start heading for you, you'd better start running. And centipedes can modify their bodies to travel even faster. The turgets on the back of their body segments can change to keep the body still while they're in motion, which helps them reach a higher velocity as they chase their prey. Step 3. Read the signs. Giant centipedes are sneaky hunters, and they hide very well. They don't try to live in human areas, but they might take shelter in a cluttered area of your home. If you come in contact with one, don't pick it up or handle it roughly. This will trigger it to defend itself. It will let you know if it's ready to attack by raising the front part of its long body, similar to the way a cobra snake attacks. That's your cue to get the heck out of there and call someone to help, like an exterminator. Step 4. Get medical help. In 2020 in Thailand, a giant centipede bit a 52-year-old boxing champion on the leg. He had chills and dizziness, but he didn't seek medical treatment until he was seriously ill. The man had diabetes, which caused complications and he died from a blood infection. So if you've been bitten, get immediate medical care. Oh my God, did you just pee yourself? Yeah! Step five, put on some shoes. While you're hiking in a jungle or any tropical forest area, wear closed-toed shoes and proper clothes. Remember, giant centipedes are hunters, and if you step into their natural habitat, chances are they will attack your feet or even your legs. If their pincer-like tips pierce your skin, it will feel extremely painful. You can avoid that by covering your skin, especially in areas near the ground. Well, you've managed to survive being bitten by a giant centipede. But while you were running away from it, you got lost in the Amazon. Relax, we can help you with that too, here on How to Survive. <laughs>